Straight to the game at VFL Park where 59,000 people turned up to see the qualifying final between Richmond and Carlton. The match was highlighted by a sensation at quarter time when the opposing coaches Peter Jones and Tony Jewell came to grips and we'll see that later in the program. But firstly down to the football part of it. Uh, Richmond lost top spot on the ladder last week just in the last of the home and away games when they lost to South Melbourne and that's why they had to play in the qualifying final while, Ge while Geelong earned the rest. And so Carlton whose lineup looked looked fairly similar to last year's premiership winning combination, uh, went into this game favourites and Richmond's stocks had certainly slumped since their great form of mid-season. Carlton favourites in the game out there and it was highlighted as well by Kevin Bartlett who played his 337th game to beat the record held by John Rantel and set earlier this year. And it was a great day for Kevin Bartlett as, as you'll see soon. We pick up the game seven minutes after the start. With me are Peter Booth and Jeff Leake. Tumbles perhaps, Peter, but uh, it's certainly bad. Bad football. Kick by Austin out to centre wing. Oh, oh, there's another one. Hold over after he took the mark. And a bit of retaliation. 15 metre penalty to Wiley. Brings him forward of the wing. Plays on nowhere near the, the mark. Wiley's kicked to centre half forward. Jones knocks it out of the air. Harms fumbles. Comes to Austin. Austin's fourth kick across the half back line. Chance here for Wood. Tapped out by Harms. Terry Smith, the short pass to Bartlett. Bartlett to the forward pocket. Scored first for Richmond. Guthrie's goal. What a goal by Kevin Bartlett. Breaking the record here today of 337 games. And he scored Richmond's points are behind. And then that goal. Just over nine minutes of play in the first quarter. Richmond seven, Carlton six, and a bounce favours Lee easily. Tapped it out towards Jess, lumbering after it, loose in possession. Mackay gets a handball away to Quam. He in turn hand passes to the wrong person, which was Tepity. Ashman's gone down behind play. He's in a heat bar in the centre of a square. And a long kick up towards Roach. Roach nearly, oh, it's not being paid. Close to the boundary line, Bartlett out of play, I thought. He's uh, been penalised, and the free kick is going to Harms. Ashman getting up now, but Harms, free kick, back pocket, scoots it out towards uh, Malin, and he marks just prior to the boundary line on half-back flank. Richmond giving the Carlton players plenty of attention, particularly Carlton stars, and Ashman on the receiving end a couple of times now as Malin boots the ball down towards wing. Richmond everywhere at this stage, but Collins takes the ball, but it's a free kick uh, going to uh, giant Ruckman Lee. Lee now to the forward pocket, but Dool on his own just had the stretch up. And then gets a call on the other side of the ground from uh, Peter Francis, the wingman. Carlton sitting up well. It's not a well-directed kick. Richmond, the chance down through Monkhouse, who's moved a mile out of his position in the back pocket. He's on the forward line at the moment. And where's Roach? Is Roach giving him the lead. He is now. And Roach will have to make up some ground. He's in front of South Beach. Can't get there in time. Wiley kicked into the pack. Rebounds to favour South Bend. Another high attack. Gets the handball to Austin. Austin on the half-forward flank. Getting a call on the half-forward flank from Ashman. Too long for him, punched away from him, his hand was held by Malthouse. Tough campaign of this fellow Michael Malthouse, doing it well. A kick to Waitman. Waitman to the boundary line. It's still in play as Burke picked it up. Has to get past two opponents and gives it to one of them, Francis. Francis running the wrong way. Coolly to Burke. Shipping in with Scripture. Scripture's kick to Roach again. Southie with him. Down the and another score. Free kick. Free kick to Roach. And Bartlett figuring in that forward play has Richmond's total to his name. One goal, one kick by Kevin Bartlett. And now it's Michael Roach with his first shot from about 12 metres out from goal. That's from goal. All the players have moved back into the centre because they expect Roach, of course, because of his 107 goals this year, to certainly kick this one. Certainly has. Roach is first. Richmond leading by seven points. Twelve and a half minutes into the game. Fitzpatrick wins this tap. Comes to Strawn of Richmond. Long kick to centre half forward. It's all Carlton here. Oh, Austin dropped the mark. Taken by Bartlett again. The 33-year-old is killing them. Snap for goal. And he's done it. Well, at the moment, he's best on ground in the first 12 and a half minutes in his record-breaking game. Just over 13 minutes gone, first quarter. The Tigers well on top. They lead by 19 points to six. And a big thump by uh, the Blues up towards McClure. 
a chance here now for Carlton for a minute to try and pick up the ball. There's Marku. He wants support. He's run out of support. And the Tigers will probably clear it away, though. Coming in now is Malin and uh, attempted trip. And Malin will take the free kick. And 15 metres as well. So Malin now at centre half forward. Now back in the goal square is Warren Jones. Dunn is there with him. Kick by Malin, dropping short. Up towards Harm or McConnell, he nearly pulled it and it's being paid. Yes, the mark is being paid, and that was, well, fairly touch and go. He had it in his hands, Peter, didn't he? And uh, he held it momentarily till it was knocked away. 35 metres out from goal. Just wide of centre half forward on the angle. The Tigers lead by 19 points to six. McConville fires for goal. And it's uh, Carlton's second goal. Richmond 3-1-19. Carlton, two straight goals, 12 points after 14 and a half minutes in the first quarter. By Bill Deller at the 14 minute mark, the first quarter, and Richmond leading by seven points. Kevin Bartlett has kicked two goals, one. He's starring. Was Lee getting up over the top of Fitzpatrick. Sheldon was in there for Carlton. Handball out there by Smith and Carlton going to attack and a mark again to McConville at centre half forward. But he's a long way from goal. Puts a longish kick down into the forward line looking for Warren Jones, but done with too much uh, agility and ability for him. Marks easily in front and then swings play across the other side of the ground. That's not bad as he finds Reigns. Wells had a half hundred attempt at tackling and another one allows Reigns to steady and put a long kick the centre half forward to Jess. Knocked away from uh, from Wiley. A good tackle up there by Francis. And that's a set free kick to uh, Robert Wiley. <laughs> centre half forward. This is his fourth kick coming up. A long one. Roach is broken clear of Southby. Not a mark, Southby was good enough to get there. It's Collins is caught. Hands it to Barton. He's swinging around, coming in for his third goal. But it's his second behind. And Wayne Harms has got a king-size headache looking after Kevin Bartlett. In the first quarter of an hour, Bartlett four kicks for two goals, too. Southby towards the outer side. Fitzpatrick in front. The spoil through goes Collins taps the ball up the ground Wood a great handball back to Lee who fumbled allowing Carlton in but Francis fumbled Collins again back to Wood Wood from half forward flank Butler oh. and Wayne Harms has played behind Butler has thrashed him Wayne Harms a rising star in VFL football Bartlett, 33 years of age, breaking the record, is giving him a football lesson. Coming up for kick number five, almost right in front, at about 35 metres from goal. This should be his third goal, and is. Just over 17 minutes of play in the first quarter, a great start by the Tigers and Kevin Bartlett for three of the four goals. Out of the pack they come again, taken away by Waitman. A long kick by the Tigers up towards Roach. He can't mark it this time. Southie there. Grabbed by Roach. He could have been caught or oh, held to him. Or oh, a fine line and Roach doesn't like it. 30 metres out from the Tigers' goals. Roach in ruck. Bartlett there along with Burke who is on the half forward line. Tapped out. Player retarded. Yes. Waitman. Free kick for the Tigers. 40 metres out from goal. Richmond 4-2-26, Carlton two straight goals after 18 minutes in the first quarter. And Carlton certainly starting favourites in this qualifying match, but the Tigers really burning at the moment. The kick by uh, Waitman is close. It's through. Richmond's fifth goal. Five goals, two, 32. Carlton two straight goals. Richmond in a brilliant opening in this first quarter at uh, VFL headquarters. Five goals, two and 18 minutes of football. They're not winning to the centre bounce. Carlton seem to be on top there. It's Ashman emerging with the ball, but a free kick going to his opponents in Waitman, right in the centre. Waitman's third kick, and there's Bartlett. And it's heading to Bartlett and Roach with Southby shoulder to shoulder. Southby taps down. Bartlett in reliable at the foot of the peg. And Wiley this time. And another goal of the time. Six goals in 19 minutes. Sensational uh, stuff in a final. Not good news for Carlton, they're in lots of trouble with uh, Jones off the ground. Dual acting as a ruckman now. This is Wood breaking clear. Oh, tackle on Johnson's girl again, and uh, 
They're really throwing Johnson in a lot of trouble, taking time to get up. Terry Smith to take the free kick on the half-back line for Richmond and down to the wing looking for Jess, but he's out position. It's up to Lee now, and Mackay is also limping. He's got a hamstring worry too, I believe. They're in lots of trouble, Carlton, and look at the oh, oh. fierce run through. That's Scripture putting the ball out of the pack. Barton again, good handball, better handball. Brian Wood a chance now. 30 metres out, perhaps. Lines up, good play, Richmond. That was first-class football, first-class final football by the Tigers, and they're playing it, giving it everything they have. 27 minutes gone in the second quarter. Tigers running all over Carlton. Well done by Wells to duck out of trouble. In fact, he ducked into a high tackle and will take a free, just forward of the centre circle, coming up for kick number seven. 25 metres short, Dunn punches away for Richmond. Their defence has been good. Here's Landy, who's done extremely well, bumbles the ball over the line in the back pocket for a throw-in. Carlton in all sorts of trouble, with Johnston injured. Jones must be injured to be off the ground, and we don't know whether Sheldon will ever come back. Carlton's forward pocket about 35 metres out from goal. Dill goes up and contests. Malthouse, who's been supreme in the back line, chips it out nicely to Rain, so he can really scoot away from Greg Wells here. We'll see Wells in just a moment, kick number 10. Bartlett leads, it's in front of Harms by about three or four metres, but the kick not directionally good, and it's out of bounds for a throw-in on the far side wing. The Tigers are 10-4-64, really running over Carlton, 5-5-35. Jim Jess, or oh, Fitzpatrick, doing extremely well on the ruck now. He's lifted his game, which he had to, because uh, Carlton were losing it when Jones went off the uh, ground, because he'd been playing very well on the ruck. Going to get the spray treatment on uh, his ankle. That's Johnson, and again, Fitzpatrick wins that tap. But that's Jess finding Bartlett, who's starring on the forward line. He's mesmerised Harms. A bad bounce, but McConville recovers it well. Oh, good balance. Shoots the handball to Mackay. Oh, on there by Wiley. Wiley looks for who? Bartlett again on the way. He's waiting for the bounce. A little bit of backspin. Here he goes. Harms has got him this time. Was it a push? Was it a tackle? Push it was. And the man who's who's breaking the league record for number of games today, 337, has already kicked four goals. Bouncing up now for his tenth kick. Within kicking distance for Kevin Bartlett, and I think he's winded at this stage. Nothing more. And the Tigers are leading by five goals, all but a point. That's a great rule in the VFL. If you're close enough to a player to push him, you're close enough to grab him and retard him and get the free kick yourself. Bartlett from wide out in the forward pocket. 45 metres from goal. He's kicked 4-3. Going for his fifth. Right in the goal square. Oh, McConville up in front of the pack but couldn't mark. Down to Marku. English didn't expect it. Wiley's done a lot of interceptions. Left foot snap for goal. <laughs> Second goal to Robert Wiley. Lee and Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick, Francis. Bouncing around at centre-half forward, staying at the back was Johnston. A hurried kick to full forward. Ashman there doing battle with Malthouse. Malthouse dives back on the ball, and that will be a ball up. No, umpire was signalling ball up. I think he might have sorted out a free after that. He has to Malthouse. Malthouse doesn't waste any time at all. Looking for Lee. Oh, fine mark by uh, McConville. Out of side wing, in towards centre-half forward. Uh, Armstrong made good position. Under his uh, right boot now, lines up, uh, spears the ball down towards McClure. They can't do a thing wrong. Strawn, a superb mark in defence. Wood, great tackle by Malin. It may have been a fraction high. Wood recovers beautifully. Gets a call out wide from Waitman. Tempany. Tempany, nicely done. Gets a call from Reigns. Member side wing. Reigns now. The Tigers are really burning. A long kick by Reigns up towards Bartlett. Off the back of the pack. Here's Waitman now. Marku is there, he wants support. But 25 metres out, fires. Goal number five to Kevin Clayton. Goal number 13 for the Tigers. And they've got this game well and truly wrapped up after seven.
seven minutes in the third quarter. At the seven minute mark, third quarter, Richmond leading by eight goals. That was Lee's fist to punch the ball away. Oh, clever back play there. Under straw. Now it's long striding Jess. Will the ball bounce for him? He stretches down a good pick up and good defensive play there by a teammate. McConville showing some uh, ability this third term. Smith pulled aside. Good tackle put on him by, uh, by Bruce Stool, who takes the kick in the back pocket. The Blues in stacks of trouble in this match because uh, they're going backwards at the moment. Collins uh, ran into position, Mark Well between centre and half forward. He's looking for Burke. Burke and Roach, of course. Roach! Hang on to that one. Taps it again. Bartlett at the back. Look at him. This is Mark Hu, who's now looking after Bartlett. Bartlett tackles him, but he, Mark Hu gets his kick into the centre. Straw, tackled by Francis, but gives it to Reigns. Beautiful handball to Welsh. Welsh runs through the middle now. Steers the ball down to centre half four. There's half a dozen players there at this stage. Grabbed by Roach, run into a Carlton player. Taken by Dill now. Pops it out to Francis. Francis just behind centre wing. Oh, Reigns, he'd be just about vying with Bartlett for best on ground. Superb performance in the centre. 13th kick to centre half forward. Roach from the back. It almost have been spoiled by Burke that time. Down the front of Jess. Bartlett at the back. Hands to it. Still a chance for Bartlett. He straightens. Oh, great football Kevin Bartlett. Six goals for the game. The Tigers lead by a massive 53 points, 10 minutes into the third quarter, 88 to 35. They're going forward again. McConville out there and Collins with plenty of toe. McConville a couple of metres up on Collins. Wiley chips in. Bit of a trip. No, play on the call. Wiley still battling on uh, top of the pack. McConville underneath it. Umpire James to call for the bounce. A fantastic performance in the game by Kevin Bartlett to kick six goals, three. The Tigers, 14 goals, four. Great kicking by the Tigers. Deep on their half-forward line now. Jess up high. Got it down nicely, and they try and move the ball forward towards Bartlett again. He's got the run, but it's still in play. Or it may have just gone out of dead. Just trickled out. The gate was wide open, 3-7. The Tigers, 88. Carlton, 35. A throw-in, 30 metres out from Richmond's goal. Well, it's a KB day, and I think the crowd are responding to uh, Kevin Bartlett's brilliant performance as Roach touches the ruck work now and palms it, but uh, grabbed by Southley, who's running to the boundary line. Into trouble. Here goes Waitman. Over to Bartlett again. Another chance. Oh, he's knocked off. He's shot by defenders. English to Mark Hu. A bad fumble. Waitman chips it, grabs a loose ball, and boots. Another goal. Richmond's fourth for the quarter. Four goals in 11 minutes. It's premiership winning football, and that was Waitman's second goal. Richmond, against most expectations, absolutely superb. They ran out winners by seven goals. Carlton narrowed the gap uh, later in the game when it was all over. Richmond, 18 goals, eight in a great performance. Bartlett, six goals. Waitman, four. Jess and Wiley, each two. And for Carlton, Catoggio and Klomp each kicked two goals. VFL Park between Richmond and Geelong earned for the winner a week's break and a direct passage into the grand final. For the loser, another battle next week in the preliminary final. Geelong, having finished on top, had already had a week's rest and Richmond had sharpened themselves with their great performance against Carlton last week. Well, for the second semi-final, 65,000 people turned up at VFL Park. We pick it up 15 minutes into the game with Richmond leading by a point and with me out there, Ian Cleland and Jeff Leake. Scrimmage of players, it's a Richmond free kick. Well, this is to break it up, I have no doubt. Kane is the Richmond player with the ball. That's his third kick as he drives it up towards centre-half forward. Middlemas should mark it unopposed, he does. He's at centre-half back. Welcome inclusion in the Geelong side. A pretty talented footballer, this fellow, having his fourth kick as he drives it up towards the centre-wing position. Newman and Dunn. A free kick to Newman against him again. That's four in a row against Newman. And you can see why, he's certainly tangling. Five free kicks against Newman. There's a goal to Bartlett coming up. They've shifted Sam Newman away from that trouble spot of centre-half forward and put him down at full forward, maybe to get him out of the road because he's in trouble as Jimmy Jess gets the ball. Nearly a good tackle by Middlebus. And a pass comes out here towards Sarah, playing against his old side. A little pass finds the little sneak. And he's got it hungry. Play on, says the umpire. Oh, brother. 
Geelong trying to get out of trouble. Oh, is a free kick. <laughs> oh. Boss just too late on the scene. And, of course, the free kick will be taken for Richmond uh, by Terry Smith. And I'd say well within kicking distance. Richmond are 2-2. Two, 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 to Geelong, 2-1. Two, There's Michael Roach up against the, the goal post. He's the one with the Guernsey on. Wait now for Smith. Drives for goal. Blake is there. Couldn't mark it. Over his head goes Bartlett. Play on, says the umpire. Roach is there battling for it. And a big stack of players. It'll be a ball up. And we've played for 17 minutes. And Richmond are 2-2 to Geelong, 1-1. This has been ugly football in the first quarter so far. Well, there's a high tackle on Terry Smith, and he'll take a free kick. So Smith, with his second chance from a free kick in the space of a minute, this one a lot closer. The angle narrower, but he still should score a goal. He's only 25 metres out. Richmond 2-2, Geelong 1-1. Richmond into the breeze in this first quarter. Oh, he hooked it badly, and that's lucky to score. It's out of bounds on the full. What a shocker. Kicked it like a backman, Drew. And Robert Neal, who's in the back pocket, a wingman, moved to the back pocket, and has done well since he's been there. And this, I think it's his second game today. This is Jess up, and that'll hurt him. Slap in the middle of his back. Oh, good play. Mount to Scrimshaw. And it's a goal. Good play, the Tigers. 18 minutes gone, first quarter, Geelong 1-1, trailing Richmond 3-2. Scrimshaw trying to get the ball underway. Jimmy Jess's handball is smothered, but he backs up and gets another one. This time out to Tempany. Richmond are running, rins around Geelong at the moment. Oh, good mark by Middlemas. Playing well for Geelong in that back line. That's his fifth kick as he drives it out towards the centre wing, looking for Bruce Nant Kervis. Where have you been, Bruce? And there's his kick up towards the half forward line. It was his first kick, but who did he kick it to? And Richmond player, and it's easily taken by Mount. Mount gets his kick, not well directed, found by Scrimshaw. He kicks it up towards the half forward line, coming through once more is that man. And uh, the Geelong defence is doing pretty well. Boss. Boss, who's got the job of minding uh, Bartlett. Bartlett's already kicked the goal, though. Here comes Wiley, gets a left foot kick, not well directed. It'll have to pick it up. Hawkins on his way through. Coming in to help him here is uh, he's playing on again. Jimmy Jess is in front of him. But Robert Neal came a long way up from the back pocket to get it out towards Terry Bright. Has nowhere to go. Got away from his opponent. Then he drives it up towards the lead from Floyd, and he's found him. He's going into the open goals. A lead across here towards Clark. Into the back anyway, and a great mark from David Clark. Captain for Geelong for today with Ian Nankervis not in the side. And Geelong need this goal because they're kicking with the advantage of the breeze to the scoring end and they trail because Richmond are three goals two. If Clark gets this, it will make them two goals one. Jimmy Jess coming off the ground for Richmond. Clark. He's what the through the centre and Geelong go to two goals one. Richmond three goals two. His kick is back towards the forward pocket. Middlemas is on his own. Should mark it. Says thank you very much. And as he drives it across towards Robert Neal, who's going to drop it, and he's under the hammer. And there are two Richmond players there as well. He gives it across here towards Smith. Smith goes for goal. And we see the ball marked once more by Middlemas, who's brilliant in this first quarter for Geelong. What a game he's having. Eight kicks in the first 24 minutes of the game as Paul Serra is just about out on his feet for Richmond. The kick from the uh, back pocket from Nan Curvis. Clark in front of Welsh. Clark just gets his kick in. The ball stays in. Here's Turner around the opposition. Michael Turner on his left boot. Spears the pass to Turner. Great lead by Sam. Back to Turner who fumbled. There's Malthouse. Turner tackles him high. The down pass is play on. And now it's going to be a ball up. Gee, Turner only had to take that ball cleanly and he was going straight for goal with nobody in front of him. Richmond seem to be on the receiving end of the, uh, the heavy stuff today, where conversely last week they hammered Cartman to the ground in the first 10 weeks, but Jess is off the ground and Sarah is in a bit of trouble at the other end of the ground and done. Featherby tackled high. Featherby uh, takes the free kick from the half forward flank. Geelong will goal down at the 24 minute mark in the first quarter in a fairly hectic first term in this important clash because the winner goes straight into the grand final and Featherby coming up for his fifth kick. Long, beautiful kick from Featherby. It's a giant. Oh, and that is a goal. 
starting the time one period in the first quarter. The scores are level. Three goals, two to both sides. And there's the big play. 40 metres up towards the forward line. Johnson's only going to pick it up and shoot. It's up to the forward pocket. Sammy Newman's made the dish. Oh, and a 15 metre penalty, surely. No need for that from Emmett Dunn. Malthouse is another player being spoken to. Sammy's up on his feet. I think Malthouse reported for that. Malthouse reported. Yes, out comes the notebook. Well, he was a bit late with the tackle. A bit late? <laughs> well, five yeah. minutes. Yeah, a bit high. Uh, That's the sort of thing that can put a bloke right out of business, which I reckon he meant. Yes, I agree with you. And Newman is no more than 20 metres out. Scores a level. Shoots for goal, I think he's put it through. Goal of Geelong, hit by White Boots himself. Geelong having kicked the last two goals, lead by a goal, but Lee wins this tap for Richmond. It comes to Hawkins. His handball puts Card under the hammer. Hawkins taps out well to Nan Curvis. His kick to half forward. Oh, good play by Johnston to get in front. Welsh now for Richmond. Pulled off his kick by Turner, the aggressive Turner. Picked up by Floyd, has been a good rover. From centre wing, long kick. Fifth kick to Floyd, centre half forward. Taylor is there. Johnston doubles back for it. Through goes Reigns. The ball spills out to Kane, who kicks across the half-back line. And it just bounces in the field of play. No, the umpire ruled it was out on the full. And a Geelong free kick from left half forward to be taken on the far side by Featherby. Featherby kicked an enormous goal uh, just a moment or two ago. Uh, he's had six kicks, so he's doing well. He's beating Rain so far. Terry Bright in front of Good Park. Bright, a very quick mover. Kane back into the team this week with a severely lacerated hand. Uh, would have missed the tempo not being in last week's uh, great win by Richmond. But now it's Bright. Be a great kick if he can uh, boot it through from here because he's kicking from at least 50 metres out. He's giving everything he's got. Through the right trajectory, another goal, two great goals by Geelong. A ball up on the half forward line for Richmond. It's almost centre half forward for Richmond. Hawkins. Oh, beautiful play. Kicks it up wide, but his kick isn't so well placed, and Emmett Dunn didn't have any difficulty in marking it. Goes across the centre square and drives it down towards centre half forward. In front and marking and doing very well, thank you, is Wiley. He's looking for a 15 metre penalty, but it's not there. This is Wiley's seventh kick. Goes across ground, kicks it up with his left foot towards full forward. Roach at the back of Malaki. Beautiful piece of football by Bartlett. And I think he snapped his second. He has. Richmond narrowing the gap to one goal. Blake beats Lee again. Hasn't been a pretty game of football. And that will be a ball up still inside the centre square. Geelong 5-2, Richmond 4-2. Almost three minutes gone in the second quarter. Blake up to centre half forward. Intercepted by Dunn of Richmond. Out the centre wing to Jess, who's hardly even there. Oh, but he takes the mark. Jess left the ground late in the first quarter. Came back at quarter time, and he did well then. Good kick to the forward pocket. Roach at the back of Malarkey. Barton again. Keeps the ball in play. No, he doesn't. Well done by Boss, but he pushed him well the umpire, and the free kick is going against Mark Boss. Big task for the young 20-year-old against the 33-year-old, and we saw last week how Bartlett had too much experience for a rising star in Wayne Harms, and Boss would be very aware of that. Now Bartlett, he's kicked two, going for three, 35 metres out. Oh! Scores a level. Richmond have picked up two goals to level of scores after four minutes of play in the second quarter, and they're going to attack now through Ruck McLean. He's lost it, but Jess is really coming to the play now, gives it to Welsh, and another long kick's going over the head of the back. Malarkey, just to the teeth of goal, but he's pulled across the line. There's a goal umpire waiting on the decision of the field umpire at this stage. And Malaki with his ear tuned in on the line.
There's the kick out from Malaki. Finds his skipper, David Clark. Didn't cover all that much distance. He's in the back pocket. His kick will take it up to the centre wing position. Looking for Blake. He's outmaneuvered and knocked away by two opponents. Picked up by Wiley. A lead comes from Roach. Malaki's wearing him and Roach has marked it. Beautiful piece of football from Roach. Stood his ground. Used his body well against Malaki. Well within kicking distance. No more than 40 metres out. Having kicked one goal of the five that Richmond have kicked. And they lead by one point. They are 33 to 32. Five minute mark. Second quarter. Drops it onto his hook and bang it's a goal. Six minutes gone in the second quarter and the Tigers lead by seven points. But Lee's tap goes straight to Featherby. His kick out wide to the half forward flank. Burke leads the race and marks in front of Bright. Plays on. Burke's left foot at the centre wing. Wiley's there doing well and Wiley marks again. Wiley five kicks in the first quarter and he's added four in the first six minutes of the second quarter. The kick up towards centre half forward. Clark is there. Middle miss with a big leap. Could have spoiled his skipper. Scrimshaw number 36. Taken by Whitcomb at half back flank. Running out of room. Almost kicks out of bounds on the full. Mount is there for the Tigers to mark. But in fact the ball had gone out of bounds on the full. And it's Mount's free. Kicks with either foot, Mount. Oh, shit. Against middle miss to allow Roach came. It didn't matter as he just sailed through the air then to take his second mark uh, in, as, in as many minutes. But he's a good 70 metres out from goal and Richmond are leading by seven points at the seven-minute mark of the second quarter. Roach has already kicked two for the match. That's a long kick too, well into the goal square. Oh, gee whiz, Monteith and Bartlett pounced on it. That's Boz riding Bartlett into the ground, but I'm sure it'll be a baller. To Monteith only had to get his fingers on it another time for a mark. A bounce on the 10 mark. Kick off line, kicked away by David Clark. After this, Turner on his hammer is Welsh. But look at the brilliant Turner go. Two bounces, three. Then he kicks it up towards a good lead up here from Johnson. But Johnson's beaten for it. Coming in to help him now is uh, Whitcomb and also Floyd. Comes back to Turner. Turner got his kick up towards the forward line. Looking for Bright. He's got it. Gives a long hand pass back here to Taylor. Taylor's got away. Gives it back towards Terry Bright. Bright gives the hand pass out to another teammate. Goes into Bruce Nankervis. Goal. Great football challenge. Geelong need to play up the centre of the ground instead of the flanks to have a chance and Mossop does this going towards centre half forward Bright in front the ball thumped away good play by Floyd a long hand pass finds Boss Boss drives towards the goal square one out position nearly a mark there to Blake Cho oh, in the back maybe the umpire's going to give it bit lucky I think the fact that he couldn't run fast won him a free kick but Geelong are coming back in the free kicks department. 35 to 30. The yes. margin was about 12 or 15 earlier on. That's right. And Matthews is what? 15 or 20 metres out. The angle is not great, as you can see, as he comes in. And he's popped it through. So Geelong come to 71. They trail by two goals. Margin only two goals at the 19-minute mark. Lee beats Moss Mossop while Blake has a rest in the forward pocket for the first time. Preston hurried left footer, but on his chest, Wiley. He's turned in two good games in the finals for the Tigers as well. Beautiful lead by Monteith. 23 kicks to Robert Wiley. Monteith centers the ball for Roach. Malarkey there with him. In numbers, Geelong in defense. Whitcomb. He's had 20 kicks. Bright at half-back, but couldn't quite reach the ball. Beat him out of play. There again, Geelong going around the flanks. Well, two goals in it with uh, approximately five or six minutes to play. And Tony Jewell, not really happy. Lee and Mossop, dead heat. Waitman, Hank, steers it through. Wiley again. Brilliant ball control. Great player this season for them. Oops, someone goes down and caught its range. Nothing like the Jeff Rains of last week. He's been beaten, but Featherby's done nothing either. 
Leeds will get the free kick. They're pushing the back, or a trip. And centre half forward for the Tigers. And they're two goals up. The range has had eight kicks only for the match. Last week it was uh, about 23, I believe. So he's going to aim this one long and hard. It's a beautiful kick from Reigns and a pack of players. Just The mark of a champion. He was knocked out early. And the Tigers, two goals up. Straight through, Jimmy Jess. Twenty-one minutes gone in the last quarter. quarter and the we see the lead go back to Richmond by three goals. Monteith, free kick to Richmond. Monteith in the centre of the ground. Richmond players starting to slow the game right down. Kick travels a fair distance. Roach tries, couldn't quite grab it. Neil having trouble pick it up. Bartlett taken away this time the umpire says play on picked up by Mossop comes across the boss boss gets his kick up towards the center wing Taylor is there he can't mark it play on charging through as Matthews charges through the pack the umpire says play on comes down here to Jim Jess he's way up in the back line now as he kicks it down towards the full forward position over the head of the pack by G card you're gonna have to go look at Humphrey the goal number eight eight goals Kevin Bartlett Well, Richmond won the game by four goals and advanced straight to the grand final. Geelong started well, led by 12 points at quarter time and one point at half time, but then the Tigers led by eight at three quarter time before eventually winning by 24 points. Bartlett, again superb, he kicked eight goals and for the second week in a row best on the ground and now he's managed 14 goals in two Saturdays of finals football. Roach kicked two, for Geelong Bright kicked three and Johnston kicked two goals. So Across to Wiley, Wiley's into attack, drives it up towards centre half forward, a chance for Jim Jess, middle miss from the back, thumps it away, comes out here to his card, not the card, but towards Boss, up towards the centre wing, Kelvin Matthews is on, he's on his own, gets the big lead from Terry Bright, Bright snaps it up on the half forward flank, another left footer going up towards the lead from Johnson, oh, what a piece of football from Terry Bright. Rod Blake winning in the ruck so far against Lee, but Lee beats him this time with a 40 metre hit. Well, with the bounce, it's almost gone 50. Here's Monteith. Oh, tapping brilliantly in the park, going for his fourth goal. And it's a great kick by Humphrey. He's done it again. He now takes his time, gets a right foot to it, down towards the full forward position, and Roach is there, but look at the middle of this, he's starring for Geelong. Boss fighting hard for the ball. Oh, fearlessly going in with Smith. His boss's opponent, Bartlett, he's kicked four, going for five, left foot snap, and he's done it again. Over the head of the pack it goes, charges away as a chance now for Featherby. He kicks the ball ahead of him and goes out to Welsh. Welsh gets it, drives it up towards centre half forward on the flank, and has been marked well by Waitman. A hand pass comes across to Freem. Freem got it caught with it. The umpire says play on. Gee, gave him more chance than he gave Neil. Back it comes towards Burke. Burke goes for goals, and it's home for Richmond. 